American forces are all set to withdraw from Afghanistan. The troop withdrawal comes on a crucial date, the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. While Biden's announcement misses the May 1 deadline by several months, the U.S. president believes it is finally time to bring U.S. forces back home. The withdrawal of troops would put an end to the country's longest war, one that sent thousands of troops into combat over the past two decades. The American-led war in Afghanistan has uh, seen uh, nearly 2,400 American troops being killed in Afghanistan. The conflict has cost about $2 trillion. The withdrawal will be a coordinated one. Foreign troops under NATO command will withdraw along with the U.S., a crucial move for the alliance and a sign of unity in the region. And America's top diplomats are, are also making sure that it will be a seamless one. This uh, is an important moment for uh, our alliance. Almost 20 years ago, after the United States was attacked on 9-11, together we went into Afghanistan to deal with those who attacked us and to make sure that Afghanistan would not uh, again become a haven for terrorists who might attack uh, any of us. Uh, and together uh, we have uh, achieved the goals that we, we set out to achieve. Uh, and now uh, it is time to uh, bring our forces home. Anthony Blinken and Lloyd Austin are in Brussels. The U.S. Secretary of State and the Pentagon chief are meeting with NATO allies. The mantra is simple. The allies went into Afghanistan together and they would also leave together. NATO relies on U.S. airlift capabilities and shipping to move valuable equipment back home. The alliance also wants to avoid any hardware falling into the hands of the militants. Around 7,000 forces from NATO countries outnumber the 2,500 American troops in Afghanistan, but they still rely on U.S. air support, planning and leadership for their training mission. While the NATO allies are in agreement, Russia believes that the troop pullout risks escalation in the region. The foreign ministry even says that it undermines efforts to start intra-Afghan negotiations. The date for troop withdrawal is a symbolic one. The move will happen 20 years after the Al-Qaeda attacked the United States on the anniversary of a date that is sentimental for America. While the troop withdrawal is certain, the Taliban remains defiant. Under the so-called Doha Agreement, U.S. troops had to leave the country by the 1st of May. Biden's announcement means that the deadline will be missed by a few months and that detail has not been lost on the Taliban leaders. The group plans to skip any key peace talks before the troop withdrawal. Senior military commanders have advocated keeping U.S. troops in the country. They have argued that a premature withdrawal could lead to a collapse of the Afghan government and the Taliban may likely make gains on the battlefield. For many who want the war to end, it is a sign of relief, but others fear the return of a stronger Taliban. The United States credibility and standing and stature around the world uh, will be severely damaged if, if in the case of the withdrawal of US forces Afghanistan plunges into a deadly civil war and it will be a big blow to US credibility and US standing in the world. For more on these developments our correspondent Susan Tehrani joining us uh, from New York uh, uh, Susan, while the deadline is being missed, uh, there is some clarity finally on the American troop withdrawal from Afghanistan. Uh, what is the domestic reaction to this announcement as of now? So in the short term, uh, the reaction will be that this is a symbolic move on the part of President Biden marking September 11th as the 20th anniversary of the deployment of U.S. troops to Afghanistan, the September 11th attacks on the United States. Possibly these troops will be coming back home before September sometime in the summer. That's the short term, uh, perhaps the political aspect of it. Some say that the fact that President Biden pushed it to September 11th is a better sign than the tough spot uh, former President Trump put him in. However, the long-term consequences are such a huge concern right now, even for officials in the Pentagon. 
uh, and both sides of the aisle that there is fear that that sort of symbolic, albeit arbitrary, move on the part of Biden will be overshadowed by, as you mentioned, a security vacuum in Afghanistan, a humanitarian crisis, and uh, also not to mention the collapse of talks between the Taliban and the Afghan government, and a fear that perhaps withdrawing the, these 3,500 American troops and ultimately uh, the rest of the troops that are allied forces, NATO first forces, what will happen is that there will be rise of extremism and troops will have to go back to Afghanistan. Uh, there was a bipartisan report that said as little as 4,500 U.S. troops are needed just to help the Afghan military diplomatically and to train them and to assist them in keeping Afghanistan safe at this current time. However, it seems the Biden administration's excuse, according to his advisors, has been that they want to pull out these troops to focus more on the threat posed by Russia and China. However, critics say that those two countries will probably get the message that's contradictory to what the Biden administration wants to do and basically see the United States retreating from its global commitments. Susan Tehrani, appreciate very much joining us on the broadcast with those updates. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.